for most natural targets on the Earth's surface, the two key influences on the radar backscatter are the dielectric constant and the geometric properties within the pixel. By geometry, what I mean is the shape and the size and the orientation of the scatterers. The dielectric constant is mostly driven by variations in liquid water content, so things like soil moisture or plant moisture. The geometry is to do with the size and the shape orientation of objects and in particular in proportion to the size of the wavelength that you're measuring with. Smaller objects will tend to have less interaction with longer wavelengths but that's very much driven by the proportional size of wavelength to object. For example smaller leaves or twigs on a tree will interact less with long wavelengths like L or P band at many tens of centimeters. But for the smaller wavelengths, like X and C band, at just a few centimetres, there'll be quite a big interaction. The key thing about the geometry is that the geometry determines the direction in which the energy is redirected by the target. The dielectric constant determines how much energy is scattered, but the geometric properties determine in which direction it's scattered. The key thing is that if that is scattered back to the sensor, then you will see a bright target, if it's, if it's scattered away from the sensor, you'll see a very dark target. The influence of the geometric shape of scatterers is most notable in polarimetric measurements. Because polarimetry measures properties to do with the orientation of the scattered wave, then the orientation of the target can influence the polarimetry quite significantly. The shape of the individual scatterers can have a big effect. So if you consider, say, small branches and twigs in a vegetation canopy, they are long thin cylinders approximately. If you compare that with large leaves on say a potato plant which are large and flat, they have quite different characteristics in terms of the way that they scatter. Long thin cylinders will tend to scatter a lot of energy when the polarization is aligned with the direction of the cylinder or the long length of the cylinder, but won't scatter so much if the polarization is perpendicular to the length of the cylinder. A big flat leaf, like a potato leaf, will scatter the polarization whichever way the polarized wave is.